Okay, I'm back. We're going for a little drive. I'm trying out the 50 millimeter on the R10. So I did it last night. I'm going to do it during the daytime. See how this works. This should be 4K 30. And you know what? I'm going to hit the info. Which here's the voice. I'm gonna move this there. Yeah, that's about center. Okay, looks good. All right, let's see how that looks. Um, you know what? I hope it's at the right. Yeah, that's uh, DVF. That does nothing in the front. You can't do anything on the movie. And the color, I don't know. Anyhow. how long this lasts if it overheats so I can get like 30 minute drive maybe a 35 minute drive before I start getting worried that it's going to overheat okay um, I've been using the uh, dead cat for the ZBE 10. And right now I'm hoping that this doesn't uh, move. Okay, so I got it on a cookbook. I mean, it, it looks stable, all right? But um, there's low profile and my dash leaning uh, upward. You weren't getting much of the road. So the depth of the field, you just maybe getting into the top parts of the car. So I'm trying to see if this is a lot better than what it's been doing, okay? Just practice. Um, uh, found out that on my Intel I had it at 1080 60 FPS for Ecamm Live. And I said, man, they were real fast on that 4K video. And then I realized they put in a 1080p t time frame because that's what Ecamm said it was. So I think I did experiments where. I filmed it in 4K and then put it in a 1080 uh, time frame. And, you know, pretty good, but uh, you can still tell the difference between 4K and 1080p. So what I did was I had to erase those two videos I sent up. Reorganized a little bit. And then uh, redo them at 4K. Now you see, I would love to have a utility instead of watching the video again on Ecamm Live so it can compress it. I have not found a utility that can compress the video files smaller than Ecamm Live. See, what I'm thinking of, if I can compress the file, all right, then I can send it up on another computer just for uploading. I want to 
practice with another program where if I shoot video, I don't have to put in any cam live. I can use another program to do that. You know, add the beginning, the ending, like, uh, what is it? iMovie or something like that. But they don't add, you know, like the desktop, you know, like I do, you know, on my screensaver or wallpaper. I like doing that quite a bit. You know, what I'm keeping an eye on is okay. On the Canon, the uh, front leg is right in front of the lens. So it stabilizes, right? On the two other cameras, the ZB-10 and the ZFC, you have two legs in the front, one leg in the back, and they're not straight. So that's the only thing I can see on this. Trying to get rid of that noise that you keep hearing. into uh, the basis uh, 100 watt uh, external power supply or external battery pack whatever you want to call it so the debate is if you're trying to keep the camera charged because I don't know how long it'll last you know, 45 minutes an hour, you know, recording internally on the R10. That's why I plug it into the external power uh, supply. Is uh, to keep it charged. And it stays charged. It doesn't lose anything. But uh, the debate is, if you're charging the battery, keeping the camera going will it overheat faster so yesterday I took it off the R10 and it the overheating seemed to stabilize at uh, 7 instead of uh, you know it, it didn't go higher all right it just stayed there so I'm testing this out again see what happens
really can't tell until I get a straight line or lane to see if it's inside a lane. It looks like it keeps going to the left. Man, someone had a piece of wood. special event going on. The parking lot is full.
So this is 410, it's not the 1604 loop, okay? So this is the inner loop around San Antonio. But this city has grown so much that, uh, you know, it's now extending past 1604. So I'm talking about the metropolitan area. So, you know, like the city of Selma, Live Oak. It's in Bear County, right? So, uh, Selma's halfway in, halfway out. But, uh, interesting. I can never remember. Um, I don't like to take the 281 route because, uh, you know, the San Pedro, whatever, off of 410. Reason being is uh, there's so many cars waiting. And then I got to remember that if I come on Saturday. All these all this traffic's here. So I don't know how short the lights are. <laughs> Looks like I moved one car distance. You know, you get people hesitating all the time. see all the traffic on San Pedro. It is a one busy street. So what I was trying to do was uh, then I realized in the sound last night you heard a lot of uh, clicking noise. I put in two tiles to prop up uh, my left panel on the uh, driver's side uh, car door and uh, it was clicking each other so I gotta figure out something else to keep it going so I'm looking at the Toyota Corolla and uh, It's a nice mid-sized car. I was looking at the Camry. Yeah, I'll just get in the right lane. I don't like to, but I'm going to. And you see there's a car. 
I thought I was going to stop for a little bit because he was hanging out right in the street. And I'm hoping this is recording. I can't see the screen. trash. Cool. Something's going on. I'm bringing drinks. Nice looking car. Chevy Camaro. Yellow. Lady walking her chihuahua. Subway. Here's the camera exchange. I'm going to pick up a new toy, folks. If they have it. So, anyhow, thank you for watching. If you like this type of content, please uh, subscribe. You know, subscribe like it write a comment if you have a question hit that notification bell for any more um, upcoming videos that I make yeah. and uh, as always stay safe keep smiling and until next time bye